Good evening, everybody. I just want to make a few brief comments about the attacks across Paris tonight. Uh, once again, we've seen an outrageous attempt to terrorize innocent civilians. This is an attack not just on Paris. It's an attack not just on the people of France, uh, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. Uh, we stand prepared and ready to provide whatever assistance that the government and the people of France need to respond. Uh, France is our oldest ally. The French people have stood shoulder to shoulder with the United States time and again. And we want to be very clear that we stand together with them in the fight against terrorism and extremism. Paris itself represents the timeless values of human progress. Those who think that they can terrorize the people of France or the values that they stand for are wrong. The American people draw strength from the French people's commitment to life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. We are reminded in this time of tragedy that the bonds of liberté and égalité and fraternité uh, are not only values that the French people uh, care so deeply about, but they are values that we share. And those values are going to endure far beyond uh, any act of terrorism uh, or the hateful vision of those who perpetrated uh, the crimes this evening. Uh, we're going to do whatever it takes to work with the French people and with nations uh, around the world uh, to bring these uh, terrorists to justice and to go after uh, any terrorist networks that go after our people. Um, we don't yet know all the details of what has happened. Uh, we have been in contact with French officials uh, to communicate uh, our deepest condolences to the families of those who have been killed, uh, to offer our prayers and thoughts to those who have been wounded. We have offered our full support to them. Uh, the situation is still unfolding. Uh, I've chosen not to call President Hollande at this time because my expectation is that he's uh, very busy at the moment. Uh, I actually, by coincidence, was talking to him earlier today in preparation for the G20 meeting. Uh, but uh, I am confident that I'll be in direct communications with him in the next few days uh, and we'll be coordinating. Uh, in any ways that they think are helpful uh, in the investigation of what's happened. Um, this is a heartbreaking situation, and obviously those of us here in the United States uh, know what it's like. Uh, we've gone through these kinds of episodes ourselves. And uh, whenever uh, these kinds of attacks happened, we've always been able to count on the French people uh, to stand with us. Uh, they have been an extraordinary counterterrorism partner, uh, and uh, we uh, intend to be there with them in that same fashion. Um, I'm sure that uh, in the days ahead we'll learn more about exactly what happened uh, and uh, my teams will make sure that we are uh, in communication with the press uh, to provide you accurate information. I don't want to speculate at this point uh, in terms of who was responsible for this. Uh, it appears that there may still be live activity uh, uh, and, and uh, dangers uh, that are taking place as we speak. Uh, and so until we uh, know f from French officials that the situation is under control and we have more information about it, I don't want to speculate. Okay? Thank you very much.